After building my VO room, I still needed to reduce the noise floor slightly. I was at around minus 57 to minus 54 most of the time, and I wanted to get that down to at least minus 60. In order to do that, I switched to a Shure SM7B dynamic mic, and that lowered the noise floor to minus 78 to minus 74. The problem I ran into with the dynamic mic was providing enough gain and maintaining a clean signal to the computer. In the previous videos, I showed that I connected to the computer via USB cables over Cat5e network cable, which does a good job. My signal chain looked like this. The Shure SM7B into a Focusrite 2i2, then into a USB hub, and later I switched that out to a USB extender. That then went out over a Cat5e cable to the USB extender receiver on the other end, and then finally, a USB cable into the computer. Since the Focusrite 2i2 wasn't directly connected to the computer, I had to have power to the USB extender so the computer could detect the Focusrite. If the 2i2 wasn't found and the drivers were loaded, the computer would blue screen and restart, which was a problem. In the room, in order to provide clean power and have everything on the same line, I added a Furman M-8X2 surge protector line conditioner. I've used one of those in my base rack for years, and since the power coming into the house is unstable, it reduced a lot of noise. My equipment in the VO booth connects to the Furman, which has a single on-off switch. The Shure SM7B is a dynamic mic and needs a lot of gain to get a good recording level. With the Focusrite, I could get close, but needed to turn the output all the way up, which appeared to add a bit of noise to my recordings. After doing some research, I added a DBX-286S channel strip to supply some additional gain. The 286S works fine, but the drawback is that it isn't switched. So anytime the Furman was on to power the other equipment, the 286S was on as well. Although I didn't think that was a problem, I figured that over time, leaving the DBX on all the time would shorten its lifespan. But plugging it in and needing to unplug it got to be something I wanted to avoid. After doing some more research, I found an excellent video on how to make a portable power connector. I don't have any experience with AC electricity, so that was the challenge I was up against. The video was excellent, gave all the parts needed and step-by-step -step instructions. After a quick trip to Home Depot, I had all the parts I needed. The build was pretty straightforward and would add an outlet that was switched and a box that I could mount under my table. When complete, the only other problem I had was the cramped space to drive the screws into my table mounting the box. Now I have a switched outlet that's plugged into my Furman. I don't need to unplug the 286S when not in use, and that freed up the front outlet on the Furman. This is the first audio recording I've done since my tonsillectomy and cancer treatment, so this was a way to test my voice and see how well the recovery was going and share some information that may be helpful. Thanks for watching.